Uh, hello, uh, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for invitation. Uh, I'm not going to speak about uh, fintech right now. Uh, contrary, I will be speaking about uh, risk management. Uh, uh, and uh, I want to actually go far uh, uh, from economy because uh, uh, I will be speaking about a topic uh, that is uh, really relevant uh, for uh, the small economy, uh, especially open economy, uh, which want, uh, wants uh, trade to uh, happen, uh, which wants uh, economy function, which want, uh, uh, wants uh, foreign direct investments uh, coming to Lithuania. Uh, so I will be speaking about uh, uh, what constitutes a pipeline of the economy, its payments, and it is access to bank account. Uh, the risking. Yes, I don't know whether everyone is familiar with the subject, with the term, the risking, so I provided a definition here. Uh, the, risking, uh, the risking refers to the phenomena of banks uh, usually banks, uh, uh, either restricting uh, or um, uh, terminating uh, uh, relationships uh, uh, with uh, their clients, uh, because uh, clients uh, uh, are seen as uh, of a higher risk for bank or other financial institution. Uh, and uh, the topic is uh, actually uh, appear, appears to be relevant, uh, and uh, those of you who follow uh, uh, newspapers, uh, uh, the last week uh, our Minister of Economy uh, stated uh, that uh, Lithuania actually loses uh, competition uh, to uh, Estonia, Poland, uh, uh, while attracting uh, Belarusian uh, companies to Lithuania. To Lithuania. Uh, and uh, one of the major uh, reasons is uh, because uh, banks uh, don't want uh, to open a uh, uh, bank account uh, to Belarusian companies. Yes, it was a really bold uh, statement, uh, which appears uh, not to be true, but uh, poli uh, politics is not about uh, facts usually. Uh, in fact, uh, our data shows uh, that uh, bank, uh, banks in Lithuania uh, has opened it uh, uh, about uh, 30,000 uh, uh, accounts, uh, uh, payment accounts uh, for Belarusian uh, uh, citizens and uh, more than 1,000 uh, payment accounts uh, uh, for uh, Belarusian uh, uh, origin uh, companies, so the situation is not uh, so uh, uh, so bad uh, as, uh, it, uh, as uh, politics uh, want uh, it uh, to be, probably. Uh, so the risking, uh, but uh, still the risking is re really uh, relevant uh, nowadays and uh, I think that uh, it will be uh, relevant um, uh, uh, in the future. Uh, and uh, here are uh, some of the reasons uh, why actually the risking uh, is uh, uh, risky. Yes, uh, is better for our, uh, our country. Uh, so first of all, um, uh, the major reason is uh, when uh, uh, financial institutions uh, don't want uh, to have a relationship uh, with uh, clients, uh, uh, it uh, forces a client uh, to uh, uh, like look for some other alternatives. And a good example of other alternatives uh, is uh, cryptocurrencies. Yes, uh, when uh, people uh, can get access uh, to bank account, uh, they uh, try to uh, find the solution which uh, uh, will help them uh, to continue uh, its uh, economic uh, activity. Uh, the other reason it uh, uh, harms uh, financial inclusion. Uh, it is not actually the case uh, here in Lithuania uh, because uh, banks uh, have uh, quite uh, good access uh, to data. They can check the person, uh, but in some countries uh, it, uh, it is the case, uh, it is uh, the problem. Uh, it limits economic activity, and I already uh, told about that, uh, that uh, companies uh, which want uh, to trade for, with uh, their partners uh, all around the globe, uh, with uh, Africa, Australia, and etc., if they don't uh, have access uh, to bank account, uh, if they don't uh, have access uh, to foreign currency, uh, it, uh, uh, the result is uh, that uh, they just uh, cannot uh, have uh, this uh, relationship, economic uh, relationship. 
Uh, and uh, the last point, uh, uh, which I told already, it uh, prevents uh, direct uh, uh, foreign direct uh, investments uh, uh, to the country. Because uh, if a company uh, comes uh, to Lithuania, it wants uh, uh, to establish uh, the company, uh, it wants uh, to start uh, the activity as soon as possible, and uh, if uh, it does not uh, get access uh, to uh, necessary infrastructure, to pay employees, uh, to pay office rent, etc., so it, uh, 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 it uh, means that uh, it, it just uh, uh, will uh, choose uh, probably as a country which uh, will provide uh, the whole infrastructure to eat. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, here is uh, the quote of uh, Financial Action Task Force, uh, which actually said uh, that uh, uh, the risking uh, should uh, never be an excuse uh, for a bank uh, to avoid implementing a risk-based approach, uh, which means that uh, uh, bank, uh, banks uh, cannot hide uh, behind uh, uh, the risking uh, as uh, the reason uh, for not uh, to manage risk. Because a bank is about managing risk, not uh, about uh, avoidance uh, of the risks. Uh, and uh, here are some drivers behind uh, uh, the risking. Uh, uh, of course, uh, banks are afraid of uh, potential sanctions. Uh, uh, and I here represent uh, the uh, institution which uh, applies uh, these sanctions uh, and uh, I very well understand uh, that uh, banks uh, do not want uh, to misbehave, uh, uh, so it, uh, uh, they rather uh, choose uh, not uh, to have uh, some relationship at all uh, than uh, to risk uh, uh, to be fined. And uh, the second uh, uh, driver behind uh, the risking is uh, reputational risk. Uh, some banks uh, just uh, don't want uh, to have a relationship with uh, some uh, client's uh, segment, not because they are risky, but uh, just because of some, for example, moral, moral standards, adults' uh, uh, websites, uh, some banks don't want uh, to be related to them. Uh, yeah, so these are, uh, uh, according to Manuval, uh, the two major uh, drivers uh, why uh, banks uh, prefer uh, not uh, to have a relationship with uh, some uh, clients. Uh, yeah, and uh, I promised uh, uh, with uh, the title of my presentation uh, to speak about uh, sanctions and uh, the risking and uh, whether uh, there is uh, any correlation uh, uh, between uh, these uh, two uh, topics. Uh, so here you see uh, uh, actually the graph uh, which uh, shows uh, uh, sanctions uh, that the Bank of Lithuania apply, uh, applied uh, uh, because of uh, some uh, uh, infringements uh, of uh, AMS regulation so this line shows uh, that uh, the fine uh, the number of fines and uh, the amount uh, the total amount of uh, fines is uh, growing um, and uh, here are some uh, uh, relevant uh, uh, cases uh, which affects uh, our banking uh, industry as well. So three um, uh, huge uh, uh, banks uh, that uh, uh, either received uh, or uh, is uh, uh, waiting uh, to receive uh, a fine from regulators. Uh, so Danske case, uh, well, uh, uh, very well informed. Uh, uh, so uh, I just took uh, the title from from some uh, uh, newspaper that uh, uh, Danskia faces uh, 2 billion uh, uh, of uh, dollars uh, in fines, uh, uh, but the case is not closed, uh, so it's ongoing, uh, so we don't uh, uh, know whether it will end up uh, actually with uh, a fine. Uh, Svetbank case, uh, 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 about uh, half a billion in, uh, in a fine uh, uh, from Swedish uh, Finance Inspection, uh, financial regulator, and uh, SEB, uh, about 100 million euro uh, fine, uh, again, uh, from Swedish Finance Inspection. So yes, uh, it definitely uh, uh, is a, a huge motivator for banks uh, to be cautious, and it should be. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, going uh, uh, a bit uh, uh, further, uh, so uh, here you see statistics uh, that uh, we have. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, statistics uh, only for uh, the year uh, 2018 and uh, 2019 uh, about uh, the closure uh, um, of uh, bank's uh, uh, bank account uh, uh, due to money laundering uh, reasons. Uh, so, you see that uh, the number uh, uh, of uh, uh, closures uh, uh, actually dropped in the year uh, 2019. 
Uh, but the reason is not uh, probably because uh, banks uh, uh, just uh, stopped uh, uh, the risking, uh, but uh, the major reason here is uh, that uh, banks uh, just uh, closed uh, accounts uh, uh, of the clients uh, that uh, were just not active. Yes, and the process uh, took uh, uh, time in exactly 2018, if I remember well. Uh, but still, we see some uh, numbers uh, that uh, banks uh, uh, either don't open uh, a bank account, uh, so the first graph uh, is about uh, not uh, opening bank account, or uh, the second graph uh, shows about uh, terminating uh, bank accounts uh, uh, for the clients uh, due to money laundering uh, reasons. Uh, and here is uh, the statistics about uh, banks uh, uh, not uh, opening uh, bank account or closing bank accounts uh, for fintechs. And uh, by fintechs, I mean payment institutions and electronic money institutions. Uh, so you see, uh, uh, it's in a two year, we already received uh, about 150 uh, so-called uh, reject uh, forms uh, from banks. Uh, it means that uh, banks uh, uh, decided uh, not uh, to continue or not to open uh, a bank account uh, for electronic money and uh, payment institution. Uh, and as a result, uh, it affects, uh, affected uh, uh, 73 uh, companies. Uh, so the number is uh, quite impressive. Uh, and the major uh, reasons uh, you can see on the right. Uh, uh, so the major reason uh, actually behind uh, this uh, decision is, uh, uh, as banks uh, state, uh, uh, state uh, is uh, correspondent uh, banks uh, requirement. So correspondent uh, bank uh, just ask uh, our banks uh, not uh, to continue a relationship uh, with a, uh, a client which uh, causes uh, uh, excessive uh, risk. Uh, but still, uh, the conclusion of uh, these uh, numbers uh, would be uh, that uh, we do not uh, have uh, actually hard uh, evidence uh, uh, of uh, massive uh, de risking uh, in Lithuania uh, because of uh, uh, sanctions. Uh, uh, but it doesn't mean that uh, it is not uh, happening. Uh, so uh, our uh, um, takeaway from that uh, numbers is uh, that uh, we need uh, to uh, continue to investigate uh, and uh, we are planning uh, uh, next year uh, to make uh, a more comprehensive analysis on that, uh, just uh, to look uh, more into uh, uh, the details and understand uh, what are actually the reasons uh, of uh, uh, bank accounts uh, closures uh, or not uh, opening. Yeah, and uh, away my last uh, slide, uh, uh, still a way to move uh, forward, uh, um, how we as a country uh, could ensure that uh, we stay uh, competitive, uh, uh, especially taking in account uh, our really small uh, financial market, still it is uh, really small. Um, uh, nevertheless, uh, we have uh, quite a, a big amount of electronic money and payment institutions. Uh, uh, some of them uh, are just uh, not uh, uh, oriented uh, towards uh, um, uh, providing uh, this basic payment account, uh, like uh, for, uh, for for trade uh, and uh, uh, for um, other activities. So first of all, uh, and uh, uh, Minister already mentioned it, that uh, uh, we are in the final stages of uh, establishing uh, uh, AML uh, competence uh, center. So it's uh, like uh, a first of a kind uh, collaboration be between public uh, sector authorities and uh, private sector. Uh, so hopefully it will ensure the uh, better uh, uh, exchange of uh, information uh, between FIU, between Bank of Lithuania and banks. Uh, uh, because uh, sometimes uh, we have uh, some pieces of information uh, uh, that uh, uh, does not uh, uh, help us uh, to have uh, a clear picture of uh, uh, what is really happening uh, uh, in uh, our uh, uh, payment sector. Uh, the second uh, uh, possible solution is um, uh, common uh, market uh, solutions um, and a good example is happening in Latvia and Estonia. Um, uh, it's a pity it is not happening uh, here in Lithuania. Uh, so uh, shared uh, KYC, know your customer uh, solutions uh, are being uh, develop, uh, de developed. Uh, uh, so uh, mar market uh, could uh, uh, have the initiative on uh, some uh, common uh, IT solutions uh, that would enable uh, banks and uh, other financial institutions uh, to collect uh, necessary data uh, and uh, to exchange uh, necessary data about uh, clients. 
third, uh, third point, and uh, I think our ministry. Uh, Economy, uh, Minister of uh, Economy will uh, work on that. Uh, it is uh, uh, abolishment uh, of the requirement uh, uh, that is uh, uh, currently set in the company's law uh, uh, to open a uh, uh, bank account uh, uh, specifically in the bank. Uh, so uh, uh, we should rethink uh, maybe the concept and allow companies uh, to open a bank account in electronic money institutions, uh, uh, probably. Uh, the fourth uh, uh, solution would be, uh, of course, and uh, I take it uh, uh, for myself, uh, uh, more guidance uh, from Bank of Lithuania, from FIU, uh, our Finance uh, uh, Union probably is uh, needed for banks uh, to feel comfortable that uh, they understand uh, risks uh, as they should understand. Uh, and uh, the last point, uh, which is happening on EU level, uh, it is development of uh, more harmonized uh, EU level regulation and uh, supervision. So the banks uh, or uh, any other of uh, financial institutions uh, understand uh, uh, what uh, regulators uh, are expecting uh, from them, uh, no matter where they are, uh, either in Sweden or in Italy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I put uh, uh, three dots uh, uh, in the end, uh, and uh, uh, it is my invitation uh, probably to dialogue, uh, and I think this topic uh, uh, will stay relevant, and uh, it will be even more relevant in the future. Uh, so uh, any other ideas uh, or suggestions uh, would be welcomed uh, from the industry, uh, and I understand that uh, it is not uh, uh, for us uh, to expect uh, from industry to uh, solve the issue, it is uh, like uh, working together. I was. I know that I was uh, very, uh, very uh, speedy, uh, but I needed uh, uh, to come with uh, time, and uh, time is up uh, right now. So thank you for your attention, and uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>